You know, I, I love the game of football. It's provided everything for me in my entire life. Uh, I met my wife because of football. You know, football brought me to Dallas where, my, where I met my wife. Uh, you know, my family is the result of that relationship. So when, when I say uh, I owe everything to the game of football, I, I literally owe everything to the game of football because that was my life path. Football was, was the guiding thing on my life path. I was a big prove you wrong guy when I was younger, and I know exactly the moment. Uh, I was told by a college coach at a Division III college, a very successful Division III college in central New York, uh, when he asked me, what other schools are looking at you? And I went through a list of schools that were similar to his, and I said, oh, and by the way, Syracuse University has, has just kind of expressed some interest. And he looked me dead in the eye and said, Syracuse University, you can't play there. And from that second, I knew exactly where I was going. Uh, I was going to Syracuse University, not for anything positive, but to prove that guy wrong, because he judged me, and he did not know me, and it, it, it was one of those things that just really, it kind of, it, it just, it, it struck every chord inside me. Um, as I've grown and matured, I've learned that it's more important to prove the people right that have always believed in you, as opposed to proving those who doubted you wrong. And I have to say, I, it, this is not my, uh, epiphany on my own, I actually got this from Blake Bortles, the quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I asked him about it, I said, you must be a prove, your, you know, prove people wrong guy like me, all these people that doubt you, all these people that criticize you, you know, even af after everything you've accomplished in your life. And he said, yeah, but when you prove people wrong, there's still that negative component to that emotion, right? He goes, I choose to prove the people that believed in me right. I want to prove my head coach right, I want to prove my general manager right, I want to prove my parents right, I want to prove my high school coach right. And as he's going through this whole explanation, it was just, oh my gosh, I've been completely wrong on this side of the motivational factor. So I, I, want, to, I want to try to spread that message to all the guys that, that we have here and, and all the kids uh, in San Antonio when you get into athletics and, and you need that motivational component to really push you, always remember the people that believed in you, even when you didn't believe in yourself. I love this game so much, and now it's provided me the opportunity to give back to other people. So, um, I couldn't be more happy. I think the I Play After School program is critical, especially for the kids in the underserved areas, because number one, as a parent, I know how, how selective sports is becoming now. Um, unfortunately, when, what the kids are facing today is, is the expense of what these opportunities cost. When I grew up, it was like public school. There was sports that you didn't have to pay admission to get into. There was, you know, there was no fee that you had to pay to be a part of a team. There were, there were not expenses for equipment. There were not expenses for uniforms. Um, youth and high school sports have become very expensive in today's age. And this program allows everybody to be a part of this. We can't talk about all these great things that happen from being involved in athletics and then limit it to the people who can only pay for it. So I play after school, make sure that everybody has this opportunity to be able to be involved in a situation where you have to prioritize and you go through the step-by-step -step methodology of, of organizing your day, of prioritizing the things that you want to do. If we're, uh, if we're not allowing these experiences to be enjoyed and shared by everybody, uh, then we're not giving them the best opportunity that they have to be successful when they get older.